I'm excited. This has been a long time coming, and today is the day we're gonna start marking out where these figs are gonna go. Now I just gained access to a ton of land to plant, but here's the thing. Do I wanna plant them close together or far apart? Well, we finally come to a conclusion. There they are, the crew has come out to join me. Let's get this done. 74, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88. Go ahead, buddy. There you go. So hopefully the camera's picking this up, but I've got little white dots all over this field here. And we were able to lay this whole thing out in rows of 15 by 15. You can see those rocks here, let's see, going right up that little row right there. And they're six by six across here. So now we've got to get this onto there and that 12 inch bit onto there. Got her did. Now, that was the hard part. Now we gotta get this 12 inch auger hooked on in place of this guy. All right, we got her all hooked up there and ready to rock and roll. Let's get the PTO going and see how this worked out. There she goes. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. it. Makes life so much easier. All right, so we're ready to go. We got mom teaching the kids how to ride the mower. They don't realize we're gonna make them work a little more after they get it figured out. <laughs> So we got this guy lined up right here with our first spray mark. Shelly's gonna come out here and guide me to where we get it dead center. And we're gonna go right down the row there. And we've got one, two, three, four, five, six rows all the way down. We got 35 holes that we need to get dug. So there it is, all of them are dug and ready to start planting. And you saw with some of those holes, there's some serious rocks going on down in there. And that's pretty typical of our soil. We live at the base of Mount Rainier and there's a lot of rock in the soil in this area, but uh, there's a lot of good topsoil in there too. And that's why this area is gonna make a perfect fig orchard because it's got good topsoil 
and we're going to plant these trees and then eventually smooth out the surface plant grass seed and we're not going to be digging in it anymore doesn't make a real good vegetable garden but great for planting trees now this was the last row that i did and it is right at the base of this fir tree right here that i want to leave because it's a beautiful tree it's real healthy but we're probably 20 feet away from it to the row here so i'm not too worried about you know the water issue because we're going to keep these things water i'm even thinking about putting in an irrigation system here but uh this one gets a lot of shade this final hole here in the morning all the way up until well right now it's about one o'clock in the afternoon so you can see the sun is finally just breaking past that tree there and it took until one in the afternoon for this thing to get any full sun that one's not so bad the next one down and it gets better as we go so i'm not quite sure if i want to keep that corner hole yet it might be kind of nice too to have this round over this whole corner so there's not a sharp corner with a big tree right on the end of it anchoring it it's kind of nice having those lines like that i know i'm thinking all feng shui here but uh you want this thing to look good now over on the end here right in this location so you can see we got a row there's the boy we got rows going all the way down like this and then this is another one it's in deeper shade here it's still one o'clock in the afternoon so we're not going to get full sun here we got lots of overhead skylight but the sun doesn't really start hitting this spot good until we get later in the afternoon evening time frame and the sun actually kind of sets over this way and so this thing is not going to get quite as much sun as these holes going on down here that one's even going to get a little bit more shade than i'd like but you know you got to work with what you got here so that actually works out good because we're right at the base of this river the little creek bed that uh we carved out through here all the way down to where the pond's going to be well this kind of rounds around the corner here and putting that last one where was it right there on the corner it just puts you know not much room to drive a tractor or a lawnmower or anything around there so i think i'm just going to leave that one out of here i'm just going to cut that corner off and that gives us 35 areas for planting if we take out that final one down here i was just talking about that leaves us 34 the number's going down as we talk here but <laughs> you got the property you got to work with now the other thing you saw was I was going really deep with that hole auger and the reason is I just want to give lots of room for good deep loose soil for those roots to just easily grow in the very beginning and then after that you know as the years go by they're going to be able to grow into this ground no problem at all and we're going to be putting mulch around every single tree a deep bed of mulch and then uh, grass seeding in between so over time the soil is just going to continue to build more and more and those roots are going to be able to just dig into that earth real easy so I think that's it for now. Don't worry, I'm gonna continue documenting all of this as we go. It's just turning out to be a big project and I knew it was gonna be. Now, the big issue is gonna be figuring out what 34 or 35 figs I wanna plant out there. I've got, I think, 45 varieties. Now, whatever I don't plant out there, we're going to keep in pots in here or just off to the side of the hoop house here and continue growing them. I really need to slow down my collecting of the different varieties because I just, I don't want to continue growing hundreds of pots of them, also in conjunction with these rhododendrons. That's why I really want to get these things in the ground and see how they perform. Now, as the time goes by, as the years go by, we'll see what performs well out there and what just does not work at all, and we might actually replace some of them. We'll just see as time goes by, but hopefully this will help some of you guys out here in western Washington state and kind of get an idea of what you can grow in ground in this state variety wise and get it to you know which varieties will grow well which varieties will actually perform and fruit well etc etc so in the next part expect to see me plant these varieties out and get these figs in the ground I'm really excited about that part in the meantime help this channel out like the video subscribe if you want to follow along comment if you've got any ideas down below that you'd like to hear about or see happen have a fantastic week guys and I'll see you in the next video adios Ooh, ah, baby, you're the one for me. Ooh, ah, baby, you are meant for me. Ooh, ah, I'm in love with you. Ooh, ah,